like it's land of man. This for me is a chance to be creative, but it's also a, you know about making really, really exceptional whiskey. We bring the grains in in 50 pound bags. We uh, mill them to a nice flour or grist. Then we add the grist to the cooker. Basically, we're cooking the grain to break down the starch in the grain so that we can convert it to fermentable sugar. And we add yeast. And then we pump it to the fermenters where it will sit for about three days. And the yeast will do its magic of converting fermentable sugar that we created in the cooking process to alcohol. And it's at that point we pump it to the still and start the distillation process. We use Arkansas corn, Arkansas wheat. We distill it here in Arkansas. We use a barrel that was made in Arkansas to be Arkansas's first ever bourbon whiskey. Well, I was born and raised in Arkansas, lived here my whole life. When I was a younger guy, I, I thought I wanted to leave Arkansas. But as I got a little bit more mature, I realized that this really is a great place to live and a great place to call home. I was working for Altel Wireless back in uh, 2009, and it was apparent my job was gonna go away. So I decided that uh, I didn't wanna leave Arkansas to pursue a career in telecom. I wanted to stay here, and the best opportunity for me was to find something that I could really be passionate about, really be creative with, and uh, make something, you know, of my own. There are no distilleries in Arkansas. Why can't I do that? Why can't I be the first? We won Best Bourbon at the uh, World Whiskey Awards in London, England. A couple of weeks later, we win double gold in the San Francisco World Spirits Competition for our bourbon. We currently today have nine products. Well, you know, that's kind of like asking which one of your kids do you like the most? You know, you know which one, but you're not gonna tell anybody. And at the end of the day, um, when everybody's gone and I can walk out to the warehouse and tap a barrel and, and taste it, and, and you know, that never gets old.